Well, hello everyone and welcome to another very super quick episode here on the MI Gardener channel. I'm really excited about this episode because a lot of you have been asking us in the comments box and in emails and on Facebook as well as YouTube about our seed store and the one question in particular, so I wanted to come and answer that quick question because I think it's fun to talk about. I certainly am very proud of it and it's something that Mrs. Emma Gardner is also extremely proud of and that is why you versus them. So them being every other seed company out there. Now we don't wanna throw people under the bus so I'm not gonna be mentioning any names specifically but let's just put it this way that We've gone out and we've uh, basically price compared weight for weight and seed for seed against the leading online 99 cent retailer and the leading in-store big box retailer. And time after time, we have proven to ourselves that our seeds are not only higher quality, better price, but also, unbeknownst to us, more quantity. You know, we kind of just do our thing. We don't ever try to, you know, quote unquote compete uh, because competitors are, it's just, it's just a battle. It's always a battle. And we don't like battling anything. It just wears you out and it uses resources that uh, can be used somewhere else. So we don't try to compete. We just do our thing. We do our thing very well. And so we focus on those three core competencies, which is price, quantity, and quality. And as gardeners ourselves, Mrs. Emily Gardner and myself, try to do stuff that we would want done to us. When that's why we started at mygardener.com and the seed store that came behind it is because we really wanted a source for free information, hence the free YouTube videos, because uh, information was really hard to come by that was not, you know, that didn't have kind of a, the caveat of a cost uh, tagged to it. And so we kind of just said, look, you know what, let's give quality, really high quality free information so that there's no excuse for why people can't grow a garden. And then what we did was we took the, the, the other reason why people decided they wouldn't grow a garden, which was the cost of the actual gardening itself. And we said, you know what, let's take that out of the equation as well by providing the highest quality seed at the lowest possible cost. And I think we've done a very good job of that, as you'll see. So we've gone out and we just bought a couple um, seed packets from the store. Um, so we gave, you know, we gave them some money just for this uh, example here. Um, and so uh, basically, I just wanna go through them, but I'm not gonna mention any names specifically just because I wanna use this as an example, um, but not throw anybody under the bus because everyone's kinda of doing their own thing as well. They're doing, their, they're doing their best to put food on the table and so are we. And, uh, and so I'm really proud about what we do. So uh, before I get started, before if you have not yet checked out mygardener.com, please do check it out. We've got a blog. We have a one-stop kind of uh, locator for all the social medias that we're on. Um, we have you know contact email. You can contact us, ask any gardening questions you have. Um, and assuming we're awake and by a computer, we'll answer those questions for you ASAP. Um, and then we also have the free videos on YouTube that are on that web on the website. And we also have the store, which is the shining light of mygardener.com. It is a place where you can go to find stuff that really, truly we stand behind and we use in the garden every single day. Basically, I wanted to go through you know, variety for variety. So the first one we have here is Black Seeded Simpson. This is your, your, your number one built, uh, big box store uh, seed supplier here. So um, I'm not gonna mention your names, but that's who they are. Uh, this is Black Seeded Simpson Lettuce. $1.49 for 1.9 grams. So we weighed out our lettuce, came in at right about two grams. So got about same weight, but when you look at the price, 149 versus 99 cents. I think you'll pick the 99 cents since it's the same variety. Now the next one is organic. Organic ruby red Swiss chard versus our organic ruby red Swiss chard. Theirs came in at $2.09 for three grams and ours was two grams for 99 cents. Now you might say, whoa, they're giving more seed. Look at the price per gram and you'll find out very quickly. Our price per gram, is about 50 cents. Their price per gram, about 75 cents. You pick which one you like more. The next one was Scarlet Nance Carrots. So Scarlet Nance Carrots uh, came in at, uh, you know, 2.2 grams for $1.49. It's a pretty good price for carrots, except for the fact ours was two grams for 99 cents. So, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're getting about the same, again, the same weight, but 50 cents difference, just on a packet of seeds. And the very last one from the big box store was Wildflower Mix. Theirs was $1.37 for 1.2 grams. Ours came in at two grams exactly for 99 cents. So you're getting double the seed for 40 cents less. Who could disagree with that? 
Now I do want to start off by saying as well that our weights do differ because we go by seed count and not by weight. And so since seeds are all, always differing in sizes, it's not a super good comparison, but it's a pretty good one if you're looking at going, if you're someone that always goes into your, into the, into your local big box store and buys seeds, it's a pretty good comparison um, as to what you're going to get. We like to use them as a reference because it, it kind of allows us a, a good example, a good model of what people are pretty happy with. But now, here comes the insanity. Here comes the crazy part. So looking at, there's a couple different companies out there that sell 99 cent seeds, and you probably have heard of a lot of them. What I wanted to do was just out of curiosity, see how much they were charging for their 99 cents compared to our 99 cents, and go on a seed count by seed count basis, since they also go on a seed count basis, and, uh, and so it makes a really easy comparison. So we looked up the big red sweet pepper, Guess how much seed they give for 99 cents for the big red sweet pepper? Any guesses? 15 seeds for 99 cents. Guess how much we give for 99 cents? 50. <laughs> so uh, next one, tomato. This is the beefsteak tomato. Guess how many seeds they give for 99 cents? 10. Guess how many seeds we give for 99 cents? 25. That's, that is uh, more than double. Last one here that we just looked up on the fly, Oregon Giant Snow Pea. You'll never believe this one. 10, 10 seeds for 99 cents. How much do we give? 40, that's four times more seed for 99 cents. And you might be asking uh, yourself or, or me in the comments box, how in, you know, why, why in the world are we getting ripped off so much? And it's simply because they're not trying to rip you off. It's because we're doing stuff that they are not doing, and we're also not doing stuff that they are doing. Like I said, we're focusing on our, our three main core competencies. If we can do those, do those three things really well, we are happy and we go to bed happy. Now, what we're not doing is we're not giving catalogs. We're not trying to be a one-stop shop for everybody. And we're not trying to load in marketing. We don't do a lot of marketing. We rely on our quality and our quantity and our price being our selling point that people want to talk about. People, gardeners, want to talk about. Because the thing is that when it comes down to cost and you're looking at starting a garden for a beginning gardener, a lot of times investing that initial amount of money for a beginning gardener is really hard to justify. We were there one time, and that's why we started at my gardener, because we did not want to spend $150, $200 to start a garden, only to see us you know, make those beginning mistakes and end up failing. So I think it's really important to look at, and also across the board, we found this to be true with all the varieties, and I think that it is so, so nice that we can provide this service to all of you and really stand by our mission of making gardening easier, less expensive, and more accessible. So I hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully you'll learn something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. We'll catch you later. See ya, bye.